Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today I'll have another episode of unboxing and review video and I'll be opening the Vixing wireless keyboard and mouse combo. This is not a paid or affiliated review. All my reviews are non-affiliated, unbiased and honest and I purchased this with my own money. There's no affiliated links, no nothing. Recently I bought a monitor to add to my uh, workstation and uh, the old keyboard which was uh, slightly bulky didn't fit the space anymore and also I didn't have a wireless mouse so I wanted to uh, get something uh, all together and you can buy actually different types of products uh, some of them are very expensive like in hundred dollars two hundred dollars and uh, I, I found this uh, for only about uh, thirty dollars Canadian and even it comes with a uh, mouse combo and some of the features are it has a full size keyboard, uh, it is wireless and uh, the keycaps are in good resilience and even the keyboard is splash proof and there's 7 degree foldable stand which uh, would let you like you know uh, lift the keyboard up a little bit. The 2.4 gigahertz wireless USB receiver actually you don't have to use two, uh, one for keyboard and one for the mouse you'll have to use just one which is uh, very good because it will save some space on the USB port. So for these reasons I purchased this uh, keyboard combo and I wanted to give it a try. So here's the package. Uh, what I noticed that uh, there are no uh, you know features or descriptions on the package uh, and then they used a very minimal packaging to cut the cost. Uh, it could be one of the reasons why this is uh, so cheap. I'll open it up, show you what's inside. Uh, once I set it up with my uh, computer, then I'll give you, uh, let you know, you know how it feels and works, and I'll even show you on the workstation. So here it mentions that you know take out the mouse from here. So they're just you know telling you open this section first, and the mouse should be right in here so that's what they're referring to so take out the mouse from here first and I'll just put it here and then let's uh, slide it out the keyboard okay so I took out the keyboard and as you can see the box is empty right now after removing the keyboard and the mouse uh, plastic cover so this is what I have here so the mouse actually is not a fat belly mouse it's slim and it looks very you know nice very smooth uh, top uh, feels very comfortable to you know slide uh, fingers and let's look at the keyboard here so this is the front section and this is the uh, back section and here is the stand which you can use to uh, lift up the keyboard a little bit and it runs on actually batteries they didn't include any batteries and it should be looks like there's only one uh, AAA battery slot so that shouldn't be too much of a problem and if I touch the keys at actually it feels very comfortable and you know I should be very uh, comfortable and smooth to type so in terms of what you're paying and what you're getting definitely you know uh, this makes sense there's on and off button for the keyboard and it even tells you how much power is remaining there's on and off button for mouse as well right here and uh, basically that's all it is so i'll set this up and then i'll use it for a uh, you know for some time and then i'll let you know my opinion how comfortable it is or if this is a good buy or not Hello everyone, I finished setting up the mouse and the keyboard and the setup was very simple and easy. Uh, you have to just take out the USB receiver which is right inside, uh, which was right inside here. So once you take it out and put the battery in, you have to turn that on. And then you have to, uh, after inserting the battery uh, into the keyboard, you have to turn on right here. So this is a good feature uh, because you know if you don't need it you can turn it off anytime but if you do not do it by yourself then it will uh, go to sleep mode after 10 minutes uh, so that's another good feature I like. So once I uh, take out the USB receiver then I put it into uh, the laptop but the problem with my laptop is that you know it only offers USB-C it doesn't have a regular USB port so what I had to do I had to just you know use the dongle to uh, connect it to the right here 
and then uh, to connect it uh, so that USB port is right here and once I connect them uh, then it started working right away and uh, the operation is really smooth as you can see let me just move the mouse here uh, hopefully you can see on the monitor it's very smooth I didn't change any setting or anything it's just a style, still at the default setting and then the keyboard is very smooth as well and it has even some uh, optional uh, media buttons for example you can uh, turn on the media and you can do the volume up and down and you can uh, go back forward and there's some other buttons so you have to just you know use the function button to activate uh, that button and then uh, this is a very full size keyboard and it's very smooth to uh, type in so for example let's uh, type in hj hj so if i do that and you can see that you know it's working uh, very smoothly right here and then it's a very uh, smooth to type and touch and then the noise is very minimal so as you can see that you know the mo noise is not distracting or anything and it's very uh, you know a sm uh, little noise not too much noise which is a good thing and the mouse when I click then you know it virtually makes no noise so that's another good thing so let's see if I'm clicking on it you'll hear that the noise is really almost nothing so overall everything went smooth and I like using the mouse and the keyboard and uh, comparing what I paid for it and what I'm getting definitely this is a good buy and again this is not an affiliated or paid review all my reviews are non-affiliated unbiased and honest thank you for watching this video uh, forget about subscribing this channel forget about liking this video and I'll see you shortly